Hey Adventurers, it's Victoria Rogers. My husband Will and I are half of r, &R Adventures. Andy and Lisa Romero are the other half of r, &R Adventures, but they don't live in the same town that we do. So we sometimes do some projects in the camper that they don't get to participate in. Um, they are coming up next weekend. Um, to work together. The boys are going to reseal the roof. They resealed the roof last year, but they want to put another coat on it. Flush out all the pipes. Lisa and I are going to be inside cleaning everything, organizing everything, unpacking everything that we had packed up for the winter. So we'll work together next week. Um, I do want you to forgive the wind that you're hearing in this video. We live in Flagstaff, Arizona, and we basically have winter, windy season, and about mm, three weeks of beautiful summertime. So Right now, it's windy season. Um, one of the projects that we wanted to take on when we bought this camper was making it our own and giving it our own special little flair. So we are all nerds. We're all costuming geeks. We're all into Disney and Star Wars and Marvel and stuff like that. We're just nerds that way. So we build costumes. So even though we may not be seamstresses or or sewy kind of people, we all pretty much figure out how to do things without actually knowing how to do it. That's kind of what you do when you get into costuming. So one of the projects that we wanted to do was we wanted to recover the cushions for the kitchen banquette and the jackknife sofa. So we are going with an up theme in our camper. Um, Pixar's up. Um, we have a little up clock back there. We have other little pieces and things that we've bought, little blankets. We have a cute little dug dog that will go on the couch as they core. Lisa and I together made these little pillows. Um, they're little balloons. We're gonna I think we're gonna tie the bottoms so they look like balloons, put some white yarn or something. Um, we're still working on coming up with that, but Lisa and I made the pillows together last year. Before we covered up the camper for the winter, one of the things that I knew that I was going to try to take on over the winter was making these covers. So again, I'm not a sewing kind of person. I just fake it till I make it. That's what I normally do. But I'm actually pretty proud of how these turned out. So when we went to go buy fabric, we all went together and we found this fabric that we really like. We thought it was pretty neutral and we really liked how it felt and it's sturdy. It is actually upholstery fabric, so it's a good sturdy fabric. Um, so I made these slip covers for the couch of the um, table, the kitchen table, the banquette. Um, this same fabric we're going to use to make the couch cover. When we went to go buy the fabric though, they didn't have enough to do the entire project. We had taken some rough measurements. We kind of had in our head how much fabric we needed to have to do this. We bought everything that they had of this, but we knew that it wasn't going to be enough. So we estimated that we had enough to do the backs of the kitchen table, couch cushions, and the couch itself, right? So we thought that we had enough to do that, we knew that we were going to have to buy something to coordinate with it for the sitting part of the kitchen uh, kitchen table cushions, and that's what this is. So this is also this is outdoor upholstery fabric, so it's a little bit actually more sturdy than the other stuff. It can be wiped down pretty easy. So we thought something that was a little sturdier where we put our bottoms was probably going to be better. So these are the same things as the other. They're slip cushions or slip covers that I just made of that fabric that we decided coordinated very well with this fabric. I made these this winter. So before we covered up the camper for the winter, I brought in one back and one seat bottom and I took a weekend and I made cushions. Never knew how to do it. Hadn't really had any lessons how to do it, but I'm actually pretty pleased with how they turned out. So I made two bottoms and two tops. Last weekend, after we uncovered the camper, I brought them back out here and I went ahead and covered the other cushions. So these are ready to go. The only thing I couldn't do over the winter was cover the couch because I had to be able to measure it I had to be able to work with it here and there as I was working, and I just couldn't do that until we uncovered it, so I had to save that. So, what I did this morning is I measured both cushions, giving myself enough of an allowance 
around the back that I would be able to Velcro the back down. We will be able to take these off and wash them. I honestly don't see it happening very often, but we will be able to do that. And so I measured, again, giving myself a good allowance in the back to Velcro and the same thing underneath, a good amount at the bottom. And it comes out that I need 36, 37 inches worth of material to go around. So what I decided to do was take my material that I had left, the only amount of material that we have left in the whole world, this is it, and measured it. I, I folded it in half and measured it and just hoped that I would have maybe 35 inches because I figured I could fake it. I, I have 27 inches. To, there's just no way it's going to work. So being the costuming nerds that we are, um, my brain just works in a way that I just don't really give up. I figure out a way to make something happen. And so what I decided is we're going to measure and see if I have enough fabric to go across the couch long ways, giving myself enough room on the sides to make some good corners and see if we have enough left over, which I can tell you, it looks like we do. So let's tuck this around, make sure we have, let's be extra generous and cut it off here. And I have enough fabric left over that I can attach it to the other fabric to make myself a bridge of some sort. Um, that you'll never see because it'll be on the back. I just need to add five inches on the top and five inches on the bottom, which are totally going to be in the back and underneath, so you're never really going to see them. So I have enough fabric here to do that. So let's just start and see what happens because that's how you get stuff done. You just figure it out, right? Okay, so we didn't actually want to take the couch apart. What we found so far seems to have been the easiest route was to take the bottom section of the jackknife couch off. It was only four bolts. It was literally easy to take off. So I'm just going to, I've already sewn the bottom, sort of, um, and part of the top. I'm just going to show you how I did it, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do at this point. So I have the cover on right now that we've made to the point that we've made it on the bottom. I'm just showing you how I sewed it on the top using the piece for the top. So basically you put the good side of the fabric toward your bottom, or you know, put the bad side of the fabric out. And basically what I did was I pulled it together to make my corners and I pinned it down through there. Okay, so I would just pin this section if I was making this. Then what I ended up with, and this is the top, was this weird little looking, I drew a picture, I drew it, you can see here. So this is where I had pinned it. So I took a little pen and I kind of drew it out and then I sewed right through there. And then this becomes the corner. So this is the piece that will go on the, the top back part of the sofa I will have to do that in the camper this is the bottom piece what we have found one because I was very limited on the amount of fabric that I had remember and I'm gonna have to build some bridges so this is the fabric that I have this is the back bottom section and then this is the front of the sofa here so that's it that's all the fabric I had that's as far as it stretches these are the pieces that I cut off and I have, I cut off two pieces and I cut each piece in half and now I've cut each of those pieces in half. So I have enough bridge material pretty much to go all the way across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two sides and I'm going to sew all the way down the edges on this side and this side. And then last week when we uncovered the camper, 
you saw that Will was so frustrated with the cover and he threw it in the trash, which we did. We threw it in the trash because it was shredded. Again, because of the wind here. It's insane. The thing was shredded. But what he did, before he threw it away, because he's brilliant, he cut off all the straps. Because this is good cording. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this. Was I going to Velcro it? Was I going to glue it? What was I going to do? And... He, he cut off all these straps. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce so these straps like this. Kind of like that actually. And like this to this material once it's sewn. And then we will just clip it together. Oh, that's a whole piece. <laughs> we will just clip it together like this. And this is what's going to hold it on. And so we have enough of these straps to do one, two, three on this way. It's all going to be strapped down. So it's actually going to work really good. We didn't have to buy any Velcro, which is expensive. And I didn't really want to use elastic because it gets worn out. And I really didn't want to glue it down permanently or nail it down. We had thought we might be able to staple it in, but this is metal. <laughs> so we can't staple into metal. Um, so this is what we figured out. Again, we don't really know what we're doing, but we always try to figure it out and we usually manage to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this cover off. So this is where you can see how well this actually fits with those corners the way that we just made them. You can see our corners here. This one needs to be pulled down a little bit better. but actually fit pretty good and then once that's tight you'll see this is our whole bottom section and it's actually going to be pretty good you won't be able to see this barely covers the front but you this is going to be pulled down plus it's going to have this attached to it so there's going to be a small seam but it's not going to be bad so what I'm going to do is sew these on I'm going to take this off Turn it inside out. Because isn't that ugly? Yeah. Turn this inside out. And I am going to sew wrong sides together like this. So basically that. And then when this folds out, I gotta think. I gotta think. Nope. Right sides together. <laughs> See? I told you. I gotta figure this out as I go along. There we go. So I'm gonna sew right sides together like that. And then when this folds out, it's just gonna be a seam like that. So that is what we're gonna do next. So my next step is to clip this all the way across, sew that like that, and then we will have a much larger piece then I will have to strip, sew the strap, straps onto here.